Hi guys, this is Cake Doc here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a white almond sour cream cake or wasp recipe. This involves using a Duncan Hines white cake mix combined with one cup of flour, half a cup of sugar. We're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay, we're also gonna do one cup of sour cream, which I have prepared here. Um, half a cup of melted butter. Um, I have also one cup of milk. And then um, four egg whites that I've separated before this. And then the secret ingredient is going to be your one teaspoon of almond extract. Um, and this is a very easy way to kind of doctor up a cake mix to make it taste um, more homemade and it, it has a more unique taste and um, you'll be amazed at how, how well this will turn out. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and add the dry ingredients first. So we're going to take our white cake mix and we're going to pour it into our stand mixer. I'm gonna um, have you guys come take a look. Okay, I'm gonna have one cup of, I'm gonna add one cup of sugar. Okay, and then just a pinch of salt, okay? Pinch of salt. I like to actually mix up the dry ingredients a little bit before I add the wet, just to get it really blended in there. Okay, now I'm gonna add the wet ingredients. So I'm going to add my sour cream. And then we're gonna put our half a cup of melted butter. Next, we're gonna add in our one cup of milk. Finally, your four egg whites. This ingredient also makes the cake really light and fluffy. When you take out the egg yolks. All right. And lastly, we have one teaspoon of almond extract. And this such a great flavor to the cake. It makes it taste very unique. All right, now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and just mix it up for about two minutes or until it's very well blended together. Okay, so we've mixed for about two minutes on medium speed, and it's pretty much done. So I'm gonna take it out to show you what it looks like. So it looks like that, consistency. You wanna scrape the sides of the bowl to make sure you got everything. Now we're just, we're just gonna pour this into, pour the batter into, these are six inch cake pans that I've already pre-cut with parchment paper around. So I'm just gonna load these onto here. Now I'm gonna preheat my oven to 335 degrees and we're gonna bake for about 25 to 30 minutes or until a toothpick um, comes out cleanly uh, from the middle of the cake. All right, so be right back. Okay, now that the oven has been preheated to 335 degrees, we're gonna 
uh, put our pig pans into the oven. Okay, so it's been about 40 minutes since I popped the cake into the oven, so now we're gonna take them out and check to see if they're done. All right, so we're gonna take a toothpick and just poke it in the middle, pull it out, and it comes out nice and clean. So that means the cake is done. All right, so remember to let the cakes cool down before you decorate them. Um, these are going to be actually part of a larger project. I'm gonna be making a very fabulous birthday cake for a friend. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, Cake Talk, and like this video. And um, look out for my next video, which is going to be on how to make Swiss meringue buttercream to decorate these cakes with, okay? Alrighty, thank you very much. This is Cake Talk. Don't forget to subscribe and like. For more cake recipes, check out my book Cake Doctor, Making Cakes in Your Kitchen at Barnes & Nobles or Amazon.com.